You're going to a conference or an event and you are freaking out because you hate networking. <laughs> I'm Marsha from yesyesmarsha.com and today I'm gonna to give you my top 10 tips on how to do networking that's effortless and actually fun. Number one, have a goal or an out. Rather than just going to the event and thinking, I better network, then go there thinking something like, I need to speak to three people, each for a conversation that lasts at least six sentences, and then I'm allowed to go home. Or give yourself a time by which, if you're not having fun, you're allowed to leave. So if it's an evening event, if I'm not having fun by 9 p.m., I'm allowed to go home. That's gonna take the pressure off and make you way more likely to wanna have fun. Number two, arrive early. Not because it's polite, but just because it's a lot easier to start conversations with people who've just arrived than people maybe who are there and already entrenched in other conversations. Also, you can offer to help, which gives you something to do and gives you a really easy way to start conversations with people who are also helping or who you're helping. Number three, have open body language. While I think it's perfectly okay for you to approach people and start conversations, it kind of makes it easier when they do it for you. And who would you rather talk to? This guy? This guy? Or this guy? Number four, smile. For two reasons. Number one, because it makes you more approachable. Remember this guy? Hi. And the second one is because it's been scientifically proven that if you hold a pencil between your teeth for a certain amount of time, so you're forcing your mouth to smile, it actually makes you happier. I'm having the time of my life. And if you're happier, you are gonna be more relaxed at this event. Number five, look for other people who are alone. I think it's totally fine for you to approach people who are in twos or groups. I actually made a handy guide for you to know who you can and can't approach, which I'll link to below. But when people are standing on their own, they feel the same way as you feel. Kind of nervous, not sure how to start a conversation. So if they have open body language, just walk up, introduce yourself, and then you can start talking. Number six, start a conversation with a question. Questions are beautiful ways to start talking to people. You just need to ask them about something that you both have in common, i.e. the event that you're at. So, what did you think of that first speaker? Or, where is it you've come from? That's a nice, easy way to get over that initial kind of awkwardness of how do you start the conversation, and then you're in, and you're chatting. Number seven, ask more questions. In case you hadn't guessed, I love questions. It's true. Questions are a wonderful way of keeping the conversation going without you really having to make much effort in terms of talking. Also, when you ask people questions and show a genuine interest in them, it makes them feel good. And as the great Maya Angelou taught us, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Number eight. When you have finished talking to someone, go into a corner and scroll down on the back of their business card or onto a piece of paper where you met them, what you talked about, and whether you mentioned anything like an article or a book or a film that you can send them a link to after the conference. The reason you want to do this is because if you can follow up, and we'll talk about how to do that, in a way that is thoughtful and shows that you're not just sending the same identical email to 25 people, you're going to make them feel really good and special and they are more likely to remember you. So, on that note, number nine. When you get back from the conference, send everybody that you liked and got on with a nice to meet you email. Almost nobody does this. And not only is it classy and gonna make them feel good, it was nice to meet me. I'm nice to be met. But also, you never know when you might need to reach out to this person again. And it's so much classier for you to send an email that's a reply all to that first one and have them see that you reached out to them and made contact and said it was nice to meet them when you didn't need anything from them than it is to send an email saying, Hi, uh, I don't know if you remember me. We met at a conference about three years ago and now I need a favour. And finally, number ten. 
stop thinking of it as networking and start thinking of it as making industry friends. Whenever you go to any networking situation, don't walk in and think, I need to network with people. Think, who would I be friends with if it was irrespective of what they were doing and who they are? Find those people and talk to them. Or if there is a certain group of people who you want to connect with, think, how can I make a friendship-like connection with them? Okay, now let's have a little recap. Number one, have a goal or an out. Number two, arrive early. Number three, have open body language. Number four, smile. Number five, look for other people alone and approach them first. Number six, start conversations with a question. Number seven, ask more questions to keep the conversation going. Number eight, after you've finished talking to someone, scroll down notes about what you both talked about and where you met them. Number nine, send a nice to meet you email afterwards. And number 10, stop thinking of it as networking and start thinking of it as making industry friends. Now over to you. I would love to know which of these 10 resonated with you the most. Which one do you think you're going to use? Or do you have a tip that you would like to give to other people to help them do networking that's actually fun? If you share it, then you'll be able to really help someone. Come and let me know over in the comments at yesyesmarsha.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like on YouTube. You can subscribe as well. And if you know someone who's going to a conference or event, I would love it if you could share it with them. If you want to get weekly email coaching and even more tips, secrets and stories that I won't put on the internet, then come on over and join the Yes Yes Marsha mailer family over at yesyesmarsha.com. I'm Marsha and I'll see you there.